Hey guys, Lisa Makes Magic, and this is part two of my stretching series. Um, I said I would talk about massaging your ears, um, sea salt soaks, and other fun stuff. So, the first thing is massaging your ears. To massage your ears, you are going to need one of these following listed items. Um, jojoba oil, emu oil, um, bio oil, vitamin, unscented vitamin E oil, um, holy butter, things like that. Um, to massage your ears, you're going to take out your plugs. Um, so, I have some tape on mine at the moment. I'm just going to remove you remove your plug and you get some of your oil on your hands. My oil is at my sister's house so I'm just going to use lotion to show you. I first put it on my earlobe and inside of my earlobe. Yay earlobe. Anyway, then you're going to start up here and just work your hands down to your earlobes and work your blood flow in your earlobes and pull down on them. Um, you're going to want to do this for around 5 to 10 minutes a day, leaving your plugs out for half an hour to an hour once you get to a certain size. Um, even leaving them out overnight, um, if you can, um, it just, it gets blood flowing to your ears, lobes, um, it keeps them healthy. So definitely ear massages are amazing, they keep your ears stretchy and healthy and moisturized because they do tend to dry out and make sure you get this area because it gets very dried out and will crack. Um, sea salt soaks. Um, you're going to take about 8 ounces, just a cup full of um, water, as warm as your body can stand it, and then you're going to put sea salt in it until it tastes like seawater, that's how I do it, um, and then soak your ears in it. Um, it just keeps your ears healthy, it keeps them clean, it keeps them from smelling, um, like ear funk. What ear funk is, is dead rotting skin cells that get caught between your earlobe and your plug. If you didn't have your plug in, they would just kind of fall onto the floor and become dust like all other skin cells do. Um, but since you have a plug in your ear, um, there's nowhere for those skin cells to go so they just kind of sit there and rot and smell really disgusting. So yeah. Cleaning your ears is really easy as well. Just take your plugs out in the shower. If you were wearing wood plugs, take them out prior to your shower. You don't want them getting wet and stuff. Um, take your plugs out during the shower or before the shower. Wash your plugs off. Um, wash your ears with soap and water. Um, then just dry them off a bit and put your plugs back in as usual. Um, I guess I will now talk about different materials of jewelry. Um, your most common um, ones that you'll see in stores like Spencer's and Hot Topic are usually going to be acrylic, just like that, <coughs> silicone, which can look like this, or like these little ear skins, like a little flimsier. Um, and then metal, and different kinds of metal. Um, these three things, um, your ears will smell, um, if you don't clean them. You will get ear funk with them. You will get ear funk with stone, too, but these are the most common types of jewelry. Metal is one of the best things you can stretch with. 
because number one, it's autoclavable. Autoclave is a, um, a sterilization machine used in tattoo parlors to sterilize um, grips and um, like clamps, etc. It is the only one out of these um, three styles, these three materials that can be autoclaved because um, the other ones would melt. Um, it's the cleanest, um, it's completely non-porous. You can put this in your ear um, and not worry about it growing in, etc. So metal is wicked awesome. Um, I have steel plugs in right now with tape around them, obviously, but metal is awesome. Acrylic is the shittiest thing. Well, not the shittiest thing, the second shittiest thing that you can stretch with, in my opinion. Um, I have stretched with acrylic for a really long time, and I really don't like it. You, it's porous. You can your ears can grow to it if you accidentally rip your ears. Um, it smells, um, it harbors bacteria, um, like you, your infection can stay. I know people who have had an infection, they have had this pair, say they had this pair of plugs in, they got rid of the infection, but there was still a little bit of like a scraped area in their ear and they put this back in and they get the infection back and it's really, really gross. Um, I really don't like acrylic plugs unless your ears are entirely healed. That is the only time I wear them now, so yeah. Silicone. Silicone you have to be really careful with because silicone, um, not only is it the worst thing you can stretch with, your ears grow to it really fast, um, it's not smart to stretch with at all. Even though it looks like it'd be the super easy way to stretch your ears, it's not a good idea. Um, not only does it grow to your ears, but when it is in your ears, um, with temperature change, it expands and shrinks, um, which is definitely not good for freshly stretched ears. Don't get me wrong, um, silicone is a very comfy material to wear in your ears. Um, silicone ear skins, which is a really thin ones like this, um, have been the easiest thing for me to sleep in. Um, I haven't had them since I was at double zero. But silicone is very comfortable to sleep in, but very bad for you to stretch with. Um, I wouldn't stretch with it at all if I were you. Um, then beyond that, you have um, stone plugs, which I only have two pairs of with me at the moment. The other ones are at my sister's house. Um, stone plugs are awesome. They're beautiful. The only problem with stone plugs is that with any plugs that are stone or organic is that they're not going to be the exact size they're supposed to be, whatever. Um, they can be slightly varying in sizes by such and such amount of millimeters. Um, but they're really beautiful to wear. Um, I like stone plugs because they're a little bit heavy. I can feel them in my ears. They weigh my ears down and help me stretch. Um, right here I have yellow tiger eye and jade quartz. Um, I also have red tiger eye at my sister's house somewhere. Um, but I really, really like stone plugs. They, you will get ear funk with them, but I find that it doesn't smell as bad as with, um, metal and acrylic and silicone. I feel like it has a different scent when it's on stone. I don't know why. Um, at least mine does. Then you have what's called organics. Organics are any material that's made from a living animal, such as bone, coral, horn, wood, etc. Um, my best examples of horn items, I have quite a few. I really like horn plugs. They're fun to wear. These are um, teardrop three-fourths horn tunnels. And they look like this. Um, you do get ear funk with um, horn, at least I do. Um, but again, it doesn't smell as bad as it does on metal, acrylic, or silicone. Um, 
but you can get them like that and like this um, with a bone inlay um, there's a lot of different ways that they can do um, horn and they're really comfy and they're kind of they're, they're pretty lightweight so they're they feel nice in your ears then there's bone my only pair of bone plugs are actually at my sister's house I have a pair of um, 500 year old walrus jawbone plugs um, they're really amazing to wear. The only thing I have to say about organics is they're a little bit harder to get out. Um, just in general, um, you need to lubricate them before you take them out. Then the last pair that I have experience with is wood. You will not get gross ear funk scent with wood because your wood plugs will absorb it. Your ears will not smell, I promise you. Um, with wood plugs you're going to want to put oil on them to keep them looking nice um these are not my best pair of wood plugs again they're at my sister's house um everything is at my sister's house apparently um wood plugs um you don't want to get them wet if you don't like if, if you're in the rain and things it's fine i wouldn't shower with them in and things like if you do once or twice it's not the end of the world but you have to try to take pretty good care of them to keep them looking nice um, you do need to lubricate them before taking them out of your ear because they are quite hard to get out of your ear. Um, but they're really nice to wear. You can find a lot of different types of wood, um, and a lot of different hand carved styles, um, inlay styles like these. Um, there's a lot of different styles that you can wear with wood that are really beautiful and your ear will not grow into wood it it not everybody thinks that when you're taking trying to take the wood plug out it's really really hard to take out so therefore it is your ear has grown to it you need to go get it surgically removed your ear didn't grow to it i promise you it did not grow to it um the likelihood of that happening is really slim um you just need to lubricate it because it's wood it's sucking up the moisture and you can wear your wood plugs for like five six years never take them out and they're not going to be grown to your ears um it's just hard to get out you need to lubricate them with oil to get them out um so there's that um so that's where i'm going to end this video in the next video i will talk about um non-flare single flare Double flare, Mayan flare, all the flare stuff. So until that video, I will talk to all of you soon and I hope you